Hi, Sonia here. I wanted to share with you this real-time five-minute sketchbook process video. Uh, basically, it's a way of working that I'm enjoying currently. Um, it's in my abstract sketchbook, which I use to, a lot of the time I use as a warm-up exercise um, before I go on to either more abstract work or even on to landscapes or figurative work. Um, one of the reasons I've found this a really useful practice is that um, often for me I can procrastinate with starting art. I think especially when we've been caught up in our day-to-day -day lives like needing to do really practical jobs, um, kids, chores, whatever it may be, sometimes I struggle with the transition from getting in uh, into sort of like an arty creative headspace and yeah like just to get going so I found if I've got this sketchbook um, I, if I reach for this sketchbook it just helps me start and often starting um, to make art then I mean then it's hard to stop so with this as you can see I'm just I'm just grabbing um, oil pastels kids crayons I've got a box of odds and ends that I keep to hand for this for this sort of um, work and I'm just laying down colour making marks on the page and then I feel like just by doing this sort of emptying my head it just helps me get into a creative headspace and um, I don't know it's just like um, I guess it may be the equivalent of uh, people talk about the morning pages and um, free journaling which you know sometimes I do as well if I've got a lot of thoughts I want to uh, get out of my head but I guess this is sort of uh, like a artist equivalent it's it just frees me up and I feel like okay now this is some art time and also the other thing is maybe you some days you're not going to have hardly any time to make art this is a way that you can keep up a daily practice as well because this is this this five minutes of um filling up filling up a, a spread so yeah it isn't the most I've obviously to allow myself to be for it to be low pressure and about process rather than outcome it is a, it is a cheap sketchbook one that um, I think I originally purchased because I thought to take uh, with me on my travels but it turned out the paper was I didn't exactly enjoy draw like uh, urban sketching on it so it's perfect for the this sort to of work because I can just it takes um it's a, I think it's a daily round round roundly one and it does take um oil pastel and crayon well and I also collage on top of it I even use uh, old acrylics leftover acrylic paint as well and yeah you can put gouache down but I wouldn't personally I, I don't I don't think it's great for watercolor so yeah, it's this is um, I'm sharing this because I'm hoping that uh, it might be useful to see that there are ways of different ways of warming up, um, and also that I don't know these spreads actually do bring me joy. Like I like to look back on them; they remind me um, to be braver, to uh, use colour more boldly, and um, I think I'm the I am learning becoming more confident uh, with abstracts through them and also it's a great way of if you're feeling very tight in your realistic drawing maybe you've reached the stage in portraiture or um, landscape art that that you you want to improve but at the same time you want to um, inject some of your own personality some looseness um, more expressive mark making I feel like this sort of a sketchbook helps with that because some of the marks I feel then do translate do come over into other work so thank you very much for watching this video um, please do like and subscribe I hope uh, it might give you some ideas especially if you've been feeling a bit stuck um, I know that's what I often go to YouTube for to get some sketchbook ideas just just watching other people's sketch sometimes helps to get me going 
Um, so yeah, I'll say goodbye and um, see you next time. Bye bye.